Hey everyone, welcome back. I hope you're doing well and staying safe. It's Normal Guy of the North. Going to do the fifth episode in this series and the last. This is the fan favorite for now and until hopefully Wargaming next year, or this year rather, brings back the uh, other operations or brings back new ones, which would be even nicer. So this is going to be done in two parts. One is my sign up and the second one going south is my flint, which I'll kind of interject here as we go along. So... This one is all Tier 7 boats, which is awesome because there's a lot of Tier 7 great boats. Uh, no carriers in this one, but you get battleships, you get cruisers, and you get destroyers. I don't really think that a submarine would be good for this. I do remember when carriers were allowed, Tier 7 carriers, but that's a long, long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. So the first thing you have to deal with here is the Wyoming, the uh, Duguay, which is French. And the Clemson. And you need to kill them first. If you're down south or want to go down south, if you look over in the map right now to the far right where my team is on the C1 line, that's typically where cruisers are going to hide. Right behind that island so you don't get blapped. If you try to start going south and you're in a cruiser, you will get blapped hard. The other thing I want to mention is the Clemson and Nicholas. Nicholas will come between that gap that you're looking at right now, which is right of the fort. But the Clemson to your right... She fires torps, and they are 5.5 kilometers. She fires a lot. Now, you'll notice the Iron Duke came out. Again, a lot of people will wait before going south because the Iron Duke will focus you and kill you. I really do sometimes feel sorry for this Emerald. It keeps coming out, same spot, and he gets blapped. Sometimes you can kill him in one shot. Then it one shot my Fiji. So, once you take out the Iron Duke here and the Nicholas, but in particular the, Iron, the, uh, the Nicholas, you can go south. And going south is a lot of fun because you go up against transports, another Nicholas, everyone hates Nicholas, and then you can go back into harbor. But first things first, got to kill the Iron Duke and you want to kill the Nicholas. Nicholas is just a secondary boat if you want. I'm just taking a pock shot here at the Nicholas, or sorry, the Iron Duke for my team. And she's almost dead. Sign up is a very good boat for this, and I'll show you why in a minute. But first, since they're both dead, let's go down south with the uh, my flint, and we'll walk through that first. So I take it a bit differently. I, I know a lot of people are scared of the Iron Duke. I'm not. <laughs> I will go after it because I can duck a duck a duck him and let him on fire. Just don't give him a clean shot because one shot into your boat, he's going to hurt you. Uh, I'm not sure what this teammate was doing, but he did a great job, and he wasn't going to be a jerk, and I'll explain that later. So this guy, I uh, can't see his name quite, but he wasn't a jerk in the game, and that's pretty impressive. I think he did a great job. Iron Duke's dead. So let's fast forward a bit. Here we go. So when you get down south, you're going to have to deal with Squire, which is a fort. Um, if you're going to be a cruiser and you're not in the York with her 209s or 203s and above, you got to get within 8 kilometers so you won't do any damage. AP will not do damage in these forts. you got to HE to death. But it's okay. Don't be in a hurry to shoot the Nicholas right off the bat. I mean, especially if you're in the Boise and you've got some health down here. Usually, typically, you can send a cruiser down here. I've done it in destroyers. I've done it in cruisers. I've done it in battleships for fun. And, in fact, I even want to take my, uh, my Tier 7 uh, Prince uh, Heinrich down here. Which I might just do for fun. But once the Nicholas gets close enough and you're in a hydro ship, again, you need a hydro for this to make sure you don't get whacked by torpedoes, turn your hydro and just kill her. She will 99% of the time lay out smoke for the first set of three transports that are coming out of that little harbor. And you want to make sure you get them. If you get them, you get an award called uh, Shark Among Shrimps or Shrimps Among Sharks. I can't remember what it is off the top of my head. I've had it so many times. But you need to get them all. If you don't get them all, you lose a star. I will say if you're playing with limited numbers, we've done this uh, operation in five people and gotten five stars. But if you make a mistake, don't. And here come the torpedoes I told you about. Again, just go back. you got time now. Lots and lots of time. The, tour, the uh, transports are slow. The St. Clair is the main one. you got to get her first. But just kill the fort. And I don't have to worry because one of my teammates, I think, just nailed it. Or is about to. Which is super nice. If you can call it out and say, hey, can you kill this fort for me? It's a big help. Like that. There you go. Turn back in and start dock a docking I love the new special effects in the game, the way they've actually redone it so the boats are smashing into the waves. That reminds me of my Navy days. That is very true. 
I've also heard from the grapevine that people are getting seasick and destroyers <laughs> playing the game up close, so that's kind of fun. All right, one down, four to go. Now, this player up here, the, uh, what's it, the Arp Ashitaka, I think they're there? I should, I can't say his name. He could have killed the other two transports and stole my warp, but I'm like, super nice guy. He made an attempt not to do it, which was super nice. I'll give him credit. I've also seen teammates screw up on this and send, you know, a battleship down here and two to cruisers. I know people know how to play this up, but at the end of the day, if you're sending more than a cruiser or a DD, um, you really are wasting your efforts. You have to protect the transports in the center. We'll talk about that in a minute when we get back to that area after you finish killing all the transports. Which we've almost done. The goal here for me in a flint, because I have smoke that lays out for over 45 plus seconds, and it lasts for almost two plus minutes, almost two and a half minutes, I want to get in the harbor. I want to start lighting things up. So the quicker you get the transports done, the better. So use your torps, use whatever you can, but kill them. And this one Liberty ship is trying to hide behind the island, but we'll just circle around and go get them. Again, not really hard to do down here, just you got to be very skilled. I usually cut in through the island you see on the F3 line. I cut between there, or some people like to go down the F1 line to be a little more safe. Till your choice. Because the necklace will hunt you, or she'll take off and come back after the transport itself. Trying to kill your Liberty ships that you're trying to escort in. Next shot, he dead. Here we go. Let's go back to my sign-up. Now, once you finish the Nicholas here and you finish the Iron Duke and you're heading in, three cruisers are going to come out. One to the left, the Dallas. One center, the Emil Bertan, sorry, and the Emerald to the right between the, those two uh, islands there. And then the arch enemy of this entire game comes out, the USS Missouri, the Tier 9 battleship. She can only really be killed by other battleships or torps from a destroyer. I mean, the shiny horse has got torps. You can do that. You can go after it, but you really got to be careful because she's difficult to kill. And uh, not that there's Russian bias, but there's Russian bias. This boat is deadly. I usually stay back and let them draw a fire on me. I don't really care. And I wait. Now, if you're going to be in a battleship, sign up, York, what's your other one, Nelson, anything, I usually go up to the left and right side because I want to give the enemy in the harbor a full broadside. I want to be able to get their broadsides to do maximum damage. If you're on a battleship and you're uh, forming the T and you're shooting on them, you're going to get one or 2,000 damage. You're not going to get the kind of citadels and stuff you would from a broadside, and we all know that. So again, just slowly take your time. Waiting. I'm waiting for the Missouri to turn and go towards the island. That's just a little uh, to the right off my boat here where the Emerald is today. She'll go after the transports. You have to protect the Liberty ships at all cost. And the Missouri will kill it and or ram one of them. If you're heading down south, pay attention. I've done that in Fiji and she's actually blapped me and killed me in one shot from full health. It's not nice. Uh, if you're in a cruiser, especially one with the name Atlanta or Flint, I have no idea why, but she concentrates on you right off the bat. So if you're in a cruiser and you're at this stage and you don't feel comfortable, get behind an island here and, and hide because her shots can take you out in one shot from full health. Now, around the transports is a healing circle, so I mean, you can come back in and get heals, but uh, you really do need to kill her. I think my record for this is I've taken 53,000 off the Missouri in one shot. Not today. But again, this is how you're slower down. I'm heading up a little to the left here so I can go up and go north. And go after the Nicholas, the Phoenix, and the Carrier. I think I'm going to get one more shot at her maybe. But I don't think I have to worry about it. I think my team takes it out. These guys weren't scared. And the shore is behind me. He's still hiding, but he's still shooting. So, yeah, we did well. So like I said, as I'm turning here, the shores is coming to, to support me. If you look at the, the mini-map, you can usually go up the channel around the 5-6 line and GH. Uh, again, keep a full broadside if you want to the, uh, to the enemy. 
if you go that way, watch out for the destroyer and the Omaha. The Omaha has three sets of three torpedoes on either side, I think it is, and she will launch them. So you have to be very careful. Make sure you, you don't get high, uh, get torpedoed because they will do it to you. It's a very narrow way, and you will get torpedoed, especially when you get up around the I-7-8 line, eight, seven, I-8 I line there, that island there. Yeah, you're going to get torpedoed around that area between those two islands. So be careful. Now, where I was just pointing where the anchor is to your right when you see it, sometimes the Dallas hides there. And if you do this quick enough with those three crews in the Missouri, you can get a couple pock shots at Lexington. And I am going to get a nice pock shot at her. You will notice on the map there's a flint that's gone south. That's not me from the last one. That's another flint. The flint's a good boat now. It was a, an amazing boat. They removed the hot Lanta. They reduced her guns down 11.1 .1 kilometers as opposed to 13.3, and they brought up to 12.5. It's okay now, but it's not like it used to be. But she's great for this operation. She's great, fun to play. Unfortunately, I'm not going to get a shot at the Phoenix, which is too bad. Now, the Nicholas is coming on the inside. You can see on the mini map there. Most of the time, she comes on the outside. Not sure why, but be careful. Again, torpedoes. Now, I see she's coming that way. I'm going to speed up. Because she will get alongside of you and torpedo you to death and kill you. You got to be careful. If she does come out where you are, I would recommend using HE as much as possible. Uh, when she gets almost on a 45 degree angle from you, I usually start turning hard right and then full reverse. And that means you'll usually her torpedoes will go down your port side, your left side, and miss. But, you know, pay attention. I did take, I think it was just over 16,000 or 16,000 out of... Lexington. By the way, this was a great team I had here. I won't lie. I think I had Navy Chick with me and the rest were all randos. They did a really good job. And Navy Chick, if you look down the map on the G... Is it 8 line there? Sorry, 6 line. She's coming right down now in the same direction I would go with this boat or any other boat if you want to split. It puts the enemy in a crossfire and it's great. My goal is to always enter the harbor here before I get to the harbor with at least 115,000 damage, so I'm well above that, so I'm happy. Now, I'm not going to turn into on this Phoenix just yet, because I want to blap it. And my shores is going to help me, but it looks like we're going to get these guys, I think, before they get completely out of the island. Yep. Yeah. They didn't even get out of the harbor, which is fantastic. I think it's the first for me in this game. Usually, they just come just out of the harbor when we get them. But again, here's the benefit of the sign-up. This boat is a beast. And she's built like any of my Soviet battleships from the Ismail, no, the Pyotr Bielek, up. They're built like tanks straight to the Kremlin. So now people are into the harbor. You're going to get a series. Uh, first, you have to take care of the Dallas and the Campbellton. And they are deadly. The Dallas will light you on fire. And the Campbellton's got uh, torpedoes. When you come around where Navy Chick is in her shiny horse down there, I told you, be very careful. Sometimes the Campbellton will hide right around that corner and wait for you and torp you. And they're down. Now I'm done burning, so you can repair fire damage quite easily. So hit your repair. And now I'm going to push into the harbor. First thing that starts up here is a series of uh, battleships, the Bretagne, the New York. So here comes the next wave. And again, even though I'm bow on right now, they're broadside to me. So I'm going to do devastating strikes to this. Normally there's a fort that's on fire right there, but my team took it out, so, I mean, good job. Be careful you don't get yourself too far in the border here. It can actually just stop you from progressing. Because once you get rid of the Omaha here in the New York and the Bretagne, you got a Farragut. It's Farragut and the Omaha. Sorry, the Omaha. I forgot about the table with the torpedoes. I told you on your side. So be careful. You saw how Navy Chick is peeled off. She wants to come over to the other side and help protect the, the other ships. And get better in the, in the firing. So that's why she's doing that. And you notice she took out the Bretagne. See what I mean? Again, we're communicating on, on the most important ships. I'm going to shoot the Omaha here. Thanks for coming out.
Again, good team. Front gun's gonna reload, and I'm gonna smack the New York. And here comes the next one. Now, the Galant is the main kind of nervous one. Don't be too scared. I mean, her torpedoes don't load like any other British ship, so you've got over a minute and a half, two minutes before her torpedoes are loaded, so she has to go way past this island. So again, put your secondaries on her. She's not exactly a threat. But if she gets past that little island you see to the right, by about a minute, she is a threat. She'll start torpedoing if you go down that side. But again, don't be too worried about it. Quick shot in the Indy. And now I'm going to push up. My team that I was with did a really good job. This was a really good match. I'm having a really easy cruise time. Typically when I get over 350 or 450 in this boat doing this route, it's a bad game. Not a good game because we're not winning. But we're doing a good job. All the transports got in the harbor. No dead transports. A little schmack on the QE. Now, last ones that are left, you see are the Colorado, the QE, Atlanta and Shores. Be careful, Atlanta and Shores. First of all, Atlanta will burn you down. She will just light this boat up. It is the greatest weakness of all Soviet battleships, HE spamming. And somewhat destroy our torpedoes. But the other thing is that they're torpedoes. Now, typically the Atlanta will come on this side of the island. Lately, she's been going on the other side. So not exactly a direct threat, but watch out on your side. The Shores torpedoes don't give her a chance to torpedo you. Because she will put torps into you. That was a pretty lame shot. Now I do put up my fighter, uh, this fighter plane sometimes to see if it'll spot any torpedoes. By now they've already been, so I would have already seen them by now, but we're fine. Nice good schmack on the Colorado. And that's just about it. So I hope this was easy for you to understand. This will be five stars. As always, thanks for coming out and watching. If you got any comments, just put them down in the comments. And always take care, stay safe, and I wish you all the best. Bye for now.